So Darcy's previous mate, Pomona, they had a really good bond together, but they weren't successful with having fertile eggs and hatching out chicks. So we got another mate for Darcy and we sent Pomona down to San Diego Zoo to get a mate for herself. The nice thing about working with African penguins is though they do form very strong pair bonds, they can rebond very quickly with other birds. And now we have Poppy. She's a recommended new partner for Darcy, and she comes to us from the Monterey Bay Aquarium. The Species Survival Plan is a program through the Association of Zoos and Aquariums that basically manages the genetics and demographics of populations of animals in aquariums and zoos. In our colony here at the California Academy of Sciences, we have 17 penguin residents. So by maintaining a diverse resident population, we can learn a lot. In fact, we participate in molt studies and fish studies, and we can do nutritional studies. We can also study some of the diseases, malaria or asper, that might be affecting some of the wild populations. We can get some good test cases through the resident populations and help out with that. Every three years, we have a meeting. African penguin ex experts from around the country sit and we talk about our colonies and we make breeding recommendations. The resident population is, I believe, 98 to 99% genetically diverse. The neat part about that is the representatives that come to discuss the transfers are people that know the animals and their personalities. Darcy and Poppy, they pretty much hit it off immediately. So that seemed to work out so far. Because they're so popular, they're, they're a great way to communicate to our guests about conservation efforts and what exactly facilities are doing. It's very important to maintain these populations because many of them are becoming more and more endangered and the SSP programs help assure us that we will have populations for our future generations.